As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the associative link between SOLIDWORKS and ANSYS Mechanical. And this functionality really greatly improves the analyst's ability to evaluate multiple designs uh, efficiently. So in the case of this fluid pump and assembly, let's say that we would like to evaluate the performance of uh, several different discharge flange thicknesses using ANSYS Mechanical. So if I pull up the mechanical geometry, you can see that I have, as an analyst, set up the geometry, the materials, the connections, including linear and nonlinear contact, um, the mesh definitions, and the loading and boundary conditions. And this can constitute quite a bit of setup time. Uh, in this case, the bolt pretension is the primary load as this fastener is uh, tightened on, and it um, results in a stress profile that looks something uh, like this, with the animation shown. Um, if I look at just the flange, you can see that the stresses are above my 32 KSI stress criteria, and so I do need to make a design change. So with that associative interface, uh, this process is pretty simple. All that needs to happen is I come back into SOLIDWORKS, make the change that I want. In this case, I'll change the thickness of that flange to two inches and rebuild my geometry. Go back to mechanical and simply update the geometry from that source file. You'll see that the flange thickness updates to two inches, and then I can resolve the model. All of the geometry definitions that I set up, all of the contacts that I set up, any of the meshing definitions and boundary conditions that I've applied, have automatically been rescoped, and I don't need to spend time redoing that as an analyst. And I just simply need to wait for the model to finish solving and then uh, review my final result. So here in a couple seconds, we'll see that this uh, finishes solving, and we can look at the final stress results. And we can see that the new stress criteria is still slightly above our um, 32 KSI threshold, but uh, we're getting a little bit closer. So we could continue this process and basically look at different iterations until we get to a design that matches our criteria or meets the design um, specifications, or even automate this process entirely using something like workbench parameter tables. So I hope you found this video helpful, and you can check out the full-length webinar covering this process in greater detail, as well as the SOLIDWORKS associative workflow with ANSYS Fluent in the link below. You can also find numerous other technical resources on our website, Thank you for watching. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.